Hi there, it's Julie from the Edmonton Mennonite Center for Newcomers, also known as EMCN. Today, we're gonna take a little bit of a look at spring yard maintenance. In a previous video, I talked about homeowner and home renter's responsibility when it comes to snow and ice removal from sidewalks. In the springtime, one of the responsibilities for homeowners and home renters is what to do with the leaves on their property. So we're gonna take a look at how to do that. There are several important reasons why you should rake your leaves in the spring. Depending on the kind of trees that you have around your yard, you could end up with a lot of fallen dried leaves. Leaving some leaves on your lawn is not a bad thing. In fact, it can provide very useful fertilizer. However, if the leaves are too densely packed, it can prevent the sun from getting to the lawn and could kill the grass. So this is one reason why it's a good idea to ensure that you are raking your leaves and removing at least some of them from your lawn. In some neighborhoods, there is an area called the boulevard that's outside of your property. This is the city-owned portion of grass in front of or beside your property and is between the sidewalk and the street. Failure to remove leaves from this area or sweeping them into the street itself can result in fines. Loose leaves and garbage left over after the spring thaw can block important drainage areas. When the spring rains come, if these drains cannot function properly, it can cause flooding on the streets and near houses. It's also good to consider that it can just look untidy. Having an untidy yard could upset your neighbors and that could cause you issues that you don't need. Before you can deal with the leaves, you're first going to need to remove any garbage. When the snow melts, it can reveal all the garbage that's been left underneath. Even if you've been as tidy as possible, winter winds can blow things into your yard from a lot of different places. You'll want to clear the garbage away because it cannot be recycled in the same way that the leaves can. So how do you rake and remove leaves? As I said before, you don't need to remove all the leaves from your lawn. They provide really good fertilizer when they break down. You will want to go gently so you don't damage the grass underneath. This will mean that you may have to pass over the same area multiple times. The goal is to remove the bulk of the loose leaves so you can start to see the grass poking out from underneath. Rake the leaves into small manageable piles. This will make it much easier for you to remove them. Then you can simply put the leaves into a bag or other container to remove. Then you can take the leaves to another area of your property where they can be used as fertilizer. In my yard, I transport them to the base of my trees and shrubs. They break down quickly here and provide much needed nutrients. Dealing with the leaves this way also means that they're not added unnecessarily to our landfills. So let's review what we've learned today. There are many reasons why you need to deal with leaves in the spring. It could impact the health of your lawn, cause drainage issues, or potentially cause you to have some fines. The garbage that's accumulated under the snow over the winter cannot be recycled like the leaves can, so it should be removed first. Once the garbage has been removed, you can then rake and remove the leaves, moving them to a more appropriate area where they can provide nutrients for shrubs and trees. Paying attention to this part of yard maintenance can make sure that you have an excellent looking yard and keep your neighbors happy. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Until next time, have a great day and stay safe.